Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching. So today's video I did a Cheshire Cat look. So to start I'm using a light brown transition shade in my crease and then I'm going in with a purple in my crease and outer corner. I will list all the shades and colors that I use um, in the bottom bar be below but for this you can use any purple, any pink um, that your little heart desires. So here I'm just putting the pink all over my lid and then I'm going to darken everything up a little bit with some black. I just wanted the purple to be a little bit darker and I wanted a little bit more dimension on my outer corners. So for liner, I'm just using a liquid liner and doing a basic wing. I didn't want anything to be too dramatic um, just because my eyes weren't really the focal point of this look. So um, yeah, just basic wing liner and then on the inner corner on my tear duct, I followed that line out just a little bit further just to give it a more cat-like appearance. Now I'm just filling in my waterline with a black liner. I'm using the Master Drama Eye Studio by Maybelline in Midnight Master. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of L'Oreal Telescopic in Carbon Black. And then the lashes I'm using are the Glamour Lashes by Ardell. So here I'm just using a black shadow and I'm smoking out my bottom waterline a little bit before I go in and finish my eyeliner for this look. So I wanted the inner corner right under um, this line that we created to be really bright. So I'm using a NYX eye pencil in the shade Milk and I'm just dabbing that on. Now here you see I'm finishing up the eyeliner and I'm just following the same line that we created before and connecting it to my lower lash line. Here I'm just taking a little bit of black shadow and smoking it out just so it doesn't look so perfect. I wanted it to be really smoky. Um, I'm sorry that this is all out of focus, um, but here I'm starting to draw my mouth. So I just went from the outer corners of my lips as far up as I wanted. And then here I'm following the center of my cupid's bow out. Um, to create the top part of his mouth and then the bottom I just um, started where I wanted the middle and followed that up as well. So this part was pretty important to me to have his two top teeth to be exactly centered. I saw a few inspiration photos where they weren't and it really bothered me so I made that a huge thing. Um, I did go in while my camera was charging and I did make the bottom lip a little bit smaller. I brought it up a little bit higher because um, the bottom half of his mouth was way bigger than the top and it just didn't make any sense. So here I'm just drawing teeth, pretty basic. Now I'm just using a white by Snazaroo to fill in his teeth and then after that I clean up all of the messy edges so you don't have to be perfect with coloring them in because we're going to go back in with the black anyway and fix everything like you see that I'm doing here. I think I forgot to mention this before but I did use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black to um, draw his mouth and his teeth. So in that last shot, I was just taking a black shadow and smoking out the corners of his mouth just so, again, things don't look so prim and proper. I wanted it to be smoky and a little bit messy. Here I'm taking a purple paint by Snazaroo and drawing on his stripes. And here I thought was a good time to do my nose, I guess. So I am using the same gel liner as I used for his mouth and I'm carving out the tip of my nose and then I'm filling it in with the black Snazaroo and then I set it with a black powder just so that we get rid of any streak marks from the brush so it looks nice and smooth. So I forgot to mention that while my camera was charging I added purple glitter to my outer corners and my crease and my eyeshadow. I just wanted them to be a little bit extra. I didn't really like the purple shadow alone so I thought the sparkle made it pop a little more. Here I just added um, purple shadow over his stripes and then blended it out with the pink. And now we're going to paint on his whiskers. I just used the black Snazaroo paint, the same one that I filled in his teeth with and my nose. Now I'm just contouring my nose with the same purple shade we used earlier. I actually wouldn't even call this contouring because I just added it just to make my nose look more like a cat's nose. 
After that, I just did some final touches on his teeth, and that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it for you. Please let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. But you already bought a ticket and there's no turning back now. Round and round like a horse on a camera.